Good morning and welcome to CAM Look, your twice weekly dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum, when a member of the CAM family shares a work from our collection and poses a few questions for discussion. We hope you'll check back on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new chat. Hi, my name's Emily and I'm the Director of Learning and Interpretation at the museum. And today, in honor of our chilly, wintry weather, I'm sharing six wood engravings by the American artist Elbridge Kingsley. Enjoy! Elbridge Kingsley was born in Carthage, Ohio, a suburb of Cincinnati in 1841. His parents, Moses and Rachel, moved to Hatfield, Massachusetts when Elbridge was only six years old. At age 13, he entered Hopkins Academy in Hadley and a few years later became a printing apprentice at the Hampshire Gazette in Northampton. He studied drawing for a short time at the Cooper Institute School of Art in New York City to enhance his engraving skills. Continuing to move between New York and Hadley, Kingsley studied sketching from nature and drawing. At this time, he began to fulfill his longing to sketch out of doors using the sketching cart, a horse-drawn cart set on large wagon wheels made for him in 1879 by his blacksmith brother-in-law. He would sit at the easel outside of the cart of his mobile studio in various locations around Hadley and Hatfield, doing sketches for wood blocks and paintings. Much of his work appeared in Scribner's Magazine, later known as The Century. He joined the Society of American Woodgravers and established his own school of engraving in New York City in 1880. He was awarded a gold medal at the Paris Exposition of 1889, a medal at the Columbian Exhibition in Chicago in 1893, and a gold medal at the Midwinter Exposition in California in 1894. While Kingsley was both a painter and a printmaker, he was known almost exclusively for his wood engravings and ranked among the finest technicians of his day. Along with a few fellow artists, he expanded the expressive possibilities of what had been up to now a reproductive technology. As the name suggests, wood engraving is a printmaking technique in which the artist works the image into a block of wood. It uses relief printing. The artist applies the ink to the face of the block and prints using relatively low pressure. Now, let's look at a few works from our collection that show Kingsley's talent as a wood engraver. I selected works that specifically speak to the winter season, but the museum has a total of 58 engravings in our collection, some gifts from the artist in the late 19th century. Let's look closely at each of these works. We'll look at each quietly. Think about how each scene would sound, smell, feel. Are you enjoying the cold snap to the air? Do you want to be in one of these scenes? Why or why not? How has Kingsley captured each scene? In closing, I wanted to share one work, Winter, that is undated. This is likely an engraving that was conceived to accompany a Henry Wadsworth Longfellow text, Woods in Winter. As I read the poem, take note of the artist's ability to render with poetry and precision the atmospheric subtleties of a snowy landscape. Woods in Winter by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. When winter winds are piercing chill and through the hawthorn blows the gale, with solemn feet I tread the hill the overbrows the lonely vale. O'er the bare upland and away, through the long reach of desert woods, the embracing sunbeams chastely play and gladden these deep solitudes. Where, twisted round the barren oak, the summer vine is beauty clung, the summer winds the stillness broke, the crystal icicle is hung. Where, from their frozen urns mute springs, pour out the river's gradual tide. Shrilly the skater's iron rings and voices fill the woodland side. Alas, how changed from the fair scene when birds sang out their mellow lay. The winds were soft, the woods were green and the song ceased not that day. But still wild music is abroad, pale desert woods within your crowd. The gathering winds in hoarse accord amid the vocal reeds pipe loud. Chill air the wintry winds, my ear has grown familiar with song. I hear in the opening year 
I listen and it cheers me long.